Hey guys, Captain Levi here with a special kind of video. Today, well, it's my first actual collab video on my channel. And this isn't with just anybody, it's with my fucking boy, Aaliyah's son. If, if any of y'all have been focused on anything Final Fantasy 15 or King's Glaive related, y'all should know he is part of the Final Fantasy community and he is well informed. Y'all should check out his channel and his Twitch channel, which he just started up, or his streaming channel. Which you just started up just recently, which I'm gonna have in the description below. But Ali, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey guys, my name is Ali Hassan. I do Final Fantasy 15 content and Final Fantasy in general. I try my best to do things regarding Final Fantasy 15, and uh, I guess it, I guess I guess it worked out for me so far. Um, but yeah, I, I am here on behalf of FFC and on behalf of my boy um, Levi. Thank you for having me here. Greatly appreciate it. And if you guys like. To see the other part of this video regarding um, FF7 uh, and 13 references, that's on my channel, and Levi is also there, so if you love this guy, go check out my channel if you want, uh, just towards the end of the video, hopefully. Of course, dude. But, um, yeah, dude, well, today, we're gonna be talking about, well, not necessarily the fan, well, yeah, it is the fan service, but the references, better yet, of... Final fan that we've seen in the King's Glaive trailer in the past two trailers, mainly this last trailer we got almost like three weeks ago or so. And oh, I'm going to be speaking about Final Fantasy VI references. Well, there's really only one, but also speaking about an interview and Final Fantasy X references that we've seen in the trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with Final Fantasy VI. I mean, all, all we've only really seen was Ultros or Ultros. And... That's that's really that's really about it when it comes to reference well visual references that we've seen in the actual trailer or if anybody's watched it over in Japan I mean that's cool for you we haven't seen it over here in the states yet so we're not we're not trying to spoil anything else but reg uh, regardless from that fact Tabata has stated before that he has gotten most of his inspiration for how the construction of Final Fantasy 15 has gone from Final Fantasy 6 because Final Fantasy 6 is actually one of their more favorited titles in well within the production team like all the producers they really do like Final Fantasy 6 above a lot of the other titles but of course some of the other producers I can't even name one out well of course like Tetsuya Nomura is going to be Final Fantasy he said Final Fantasy 7 was his favorite at the time, uh, and I'm speaking on behalf of the PlayStation Magazine from a while ago, but um, yeah, Aliyah San, what do you what do you think about Final Fantasy VI references in King's Life? So um, you're completely right. For Final Fantasy VI, personally, um, the only reference we got was Ultros. I mean, sure, we get some FF6 vibes from Niflheim airships, Maggie Tech, all that cool jazz. But that's just there to be there, and it's kind of intertwined within the story. That's kind of the only, you know, story FF6 inspiration that we got. And you have to remember, um, FF15's team is majorly of uh, people who love FF6 and has worked on FF6. But nonetheless, let's stick to Ultros. Ultros was during Kingsley. Like, what the heck? Um, but me personally, I think that's more of just like an Easter egg and everything like that. But nonetheless, it's a cool Easter egg, and you know, um. Scranx is just doing this to kind of hype up the crowd. That's just my um, two cents on the situation. Um, what about yours, uh, Levi? I mean, dude, honestly, that's that's really about it. Like, I was gonna say the same thing about uh, like Niflheim and like uh, all the all the, like machinery and all that. If I go any further into that, I'm gonna dive into the whole Fabula thing. And like, if we dive into the Fabula thing, it's gonna get a little bit longer but i mean all i really have to say is that if the game would have stayed or remained in the fabula entry or series it would have made more sense or it would have had more of a final fantasy 6 inspiration since there are actual magic tech armors in final fantasy or final fantasy type 0 which took place in the same universe and would have made some form of sense because i've always believed that orient's type 0 would have some form of connection with final fantasy 15 directly but besides that, uh, with Ultras, I, I just think he, he's just a, he was just there just to be there, just the way he kind of because in Final Fantasy VI he's kind of just he pops up at the worst times and it's the most annoying. He's not really like he's not cute, he's not funny, 
he, he just pisses you off in the game. So, like, honestly, he's probably just going to pop up somewhere in the movie where it's, like, already going bad. And it kind of seems like it because you see him, like, flying, like, through the air or something or, like, crashing through a building or something. I don't, I don't know where the hell he's coming from, but that's about it. Um, but, yeah, I guess moving on to the whole Final, fin uh, Final Fantasy X references, uh, this is actually way more talked about, of course, because... This is where we get more into the fan service side of things, because, simply because this this fight, this fight between Yojimbo, or as, let, let me just say, Yojimbo, in quotation marks, and Diamond Weapon, in quotations as well, because, we, you know, let's just say that, and we got the whole Bank of Spear or whatever. I believe that this is strong fan service because they're trying to pull out the fanboys from Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 10. They're two like best heavy hitters of the series that have hit the double digits in well, not hit the double digit. Well, oh, how many cells does Final Fantasy 10 have again, Aaliyah Sign? Out of 10, I don't know the exact number, but it definitely has one of the highest um like what well, just just as cells, right? It sales. Yeah. FF10 has probably one of the highest sales um I think okay, so the top uh, Final Fantasies that sold very well is obviously FF7 is topping. FF10, I think FF7 is topping. FF10 is like the second most. And I think FF13 yeah. is like the third most, or it's like I know FF7 is the top. It's between yeah. the second and third, yeah, with like 10 and 13. The top two were Final Fantasy 10 or Final Fantasy 7, then Final Fantasy 10. But yeah, yeah, I just believe that they're they're just trying to pull out the fanboys and like make them clash. Like yo, it's like yo Jimbo versus fucking Diamond Weapon. Two iconic figures to each game. Yo, Jimbo, strictly to Final Fantasy, or Yo, Jimbo, as some people like to call him, and it, it being part of Final Fantasy X only, and then you have the weapons, well, diamond weapons specific to Final Fantasy VII. Well, what, what, what do you think about that, Elias son? What I personally think about, and you said diamond weapon, right? Yeah, let's just put quotations on that diamond weapon, though. Okay, so quotes on Diamond Weapon. Now, me personally, I don't really think he has anything regarding the story. And I kind of, like, touched a little bit upon this in my video. Um, but basically, what I believe is that, like, you know, um, Diamond Weapon is not really the Diamond Weapon that we grow and love from FF7. I think it's just an appearance and aesthetic kind of similarity. There is no really direct link between, you know, um, FF7 and FF15. I think it's just there just to be there. I think Niflheim kind of just created this monster slash weapon and it's a coincidence that it looks like diamond weapon and you know i think square enix made it that way so that people would get hype when they saw it you know because you know when people see things that are familiar to them they get hype and um that's actually a smart kind of way to market the game and the movie dude you could have said it any better like honestly that that's why i'm letting it slide because it's very, 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 very unusual for Square to drop so much fan service. So, like, it, that's why I haven't viewed it as just strict fan service. But I felt like it had to be brought to the table at some point and needed to be talked about. So, very good, dude. I, I highly agree with you there, Ali. Um, I'm just going to touch up on one more little thing. I mean, it's during this same that I was, that you see the whole Bank of Spira thing in the background. Like, I feel like it's, it's, directly calling out towards, you know, Final Fantasy X and then Final Fantasy VII fans. Like, just for the movie alone. But then when the actual game comes out, I don't I don't believe we're going to be seeing, you know, like Diamond Weapon. You, he's going to be like a secret boss. And, you know, Jimbo's going to be like a secret boss or something. Like that. On top of the fact, we don't know exactly how summons are going to be working exactly. We can't really say for sure. So I, I don't really know what to say about Yohimbo or diamond weapon or the weapons being here in general um for the most part guys that's about it for this video it's a small little collab i mean aliasan did uh if you want to check out his video his video is probably gonna be up first and i'll put the well actually just go check out his channel subscribe to him he's uh he he's covered final fantasy 7 and final fantasy wait 13 13 yes yeah. <laughs> 7 13 that's all right my bad the whole inside my bad it's um, fine. Yeah, yeah, guys. If you guys want to go check the check his channel out, go ahead and do that. And like I said, uh, that's about it. Alisson, do you have anything else to say? Not really. I'm just really honored that you're here. I just want to thank you for everything you've done. What an awesome person you are, and what an awesome video collab this was. And you know, overall, 
you know, if you really enjoy this guy and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe below and like, comment, and make sure to leave an awesome comment, because that's where it's at, guys. <laughs> hey, now that's what I'm talking about, dude. I highly appreciate that, Elias. Well, hey, guys, that's 